testify that this case has been very hard for you. So let's talk about that and why. All right. Your lies have been exposed to the world multiple times, right? I haven't lied about anything I've been here to say. You sat here and told this jury that the events in Hicksville started with Mr. Depp getting really upset about a woman leaning on you. Is that correct? Yes, that's effectively what happened, yeah. You testified that he actually grabbed that woman's wrist and twisted it, right? And told her that he could effectively break her wrist by saying he knew how many pounds of pressure, or asking her how many pounds of pressure it took to break a human wrist. But your own witness, your former best friend, Rocky Pennington, she didn't corroborate that, did she? Uh, I'm not quite sure what part of that night she saw. There were a lot of people there. She didn't testify that Mr. Depp ra grabbed anyone's wrist in Hicksville. Again, I don't know what Rocky saw. There were a lot of people there that night. You testified that once you brought Mr. Depp back to your trailer, he trashed it, correct? That is correct. And the manager of the Hicksville trailer park was furious that Johnny had wrecked the whole thing. Do you remember that testimony? That's correct. Well, we heard from that manager of the Hicksville trailer park, Morgan Knight, on Monday, didn't we? I'm not quite sure who that guy was or if he had any involvement in this. I know a lot of people have come out of the woodwork to be in, involved. So you're accusing Mr. Knight of testifying and committing perjury? I'm not accusing anyone. I just don't recognize that man. You heard Mr. Knight testify that it was actually you who was upset with Mr. Depp spending time away from him. Isn't that correct? How would he know? He wasn't there. You heard Mr. Knight testify that it was actually you who was yelling at Mr. Depp. Again, I've heard a lot of people say a lot of things to be involved in the Johnny Depp show, but he wasn't there. He doesn't know. And he certainly doesn't know what happened behind closed doors, like most people. So you're calling Mr. Knight a liar? I am saying he wasn't there, and what he testified to doesn't match what I know happened. But I don't fault him. He wasn't there, so how would he know? He testified he was there, Ms. Heard. Did you hear that? That's his testimony, yes. So you're calling him a liar? I'm just saying he wasn't there. You heard Mr. Knight testify that the trailer wasn't trashed, and that's why you're calling him a liar. He testified that a light fixture was broken, similar to the way that yes, Johnny's other than a light fixture, that was the to only thing that was broken, being rearranged right? Ms. Heard? and things Ms. like Heard? that. The only thing that was broken in the trailer, according to Mr. Knight, was a light fixture. Yes or no? I realized that he summed it up by saying a light fixture was broken. Just the way his security guard summed up him trashing my closet as being rearranged. Your Honor, I'm going to move to strike everything after he summed it up that it was a light fixture as non-responsive. She answered the question, Your Honor. Uh, over, overruled. In the security guard testimony, Your Honor? I'll allow it. Go ahead. Mr. Knight also testified that he charged Mr. Depp only $62 for the damaged light fixture. You heard that, correct? I did. In Hicksville, you were the only one that was jealous that Mr. Depp was spending time from other people. Isn't that correct, Ms. Hurd? That is incorrect. In Hicksville, you were the one who was upset that Mr. Depp wasn't giving you enough attention. Incorrect again. Ms. Hurd, you told this jury that you had no idea the press was going to be at the courthouse when you got your TRO on May 27, 2016. Do you remember that testimony? Uh, I said I did not have anything to do with it. Yes. No. My question again. You told this jury that you had no idea that the press was going to be outside after you got the ex-party TRO on May 27, 2016. Do you remember that testimony? I apologize. I must have misunderstood Ms. Vasquez. Um, I actually had no idea whether they were going to be there or not. When I walked into the courtroom that day, it was completely quiet, still, empty. Even though I had given Johnny's team notice that I was filing the TRO, your Honor, this is not we had no reason to believe to that the press knew. Right. And, Your Honor, I would also ask that you instruct the witness to please stop talking once I lodge an objection. Your Honor, she's trying to answer the question as best she can, and Ms. Vasquez is misrepresenting to her what she testified to. Well, I'll instruct the last part as non-responsive, just if you could just answer the questions asked. Okay? Thank you, Ms. Hurd. In fact, you testified that you were, quote, shocked when you saw press when you were leaving the courthouse. Yes? Yes. You weren't shocked at all, though, were you? Uh, incorrect. It was You knew the horrifying. press would be at the courthouse, right, Ms. Hurd? No. Well, you did bring your publicist to the courthouse with you on May 27, 2016, didn't you? I sure did. I'm a public figure. I brought my publicist in case it blew up.
in case. And you actually had alerted TMC that you would be filing a TRO against Mr. Depp that very day, no, I did didn't not. you? No, I did the not. The one day you didn't bother to wear makeup to cover up the mark on your face. I did not call TMZ or any other news source or paparazzi source. No one. Well, I we never heard did that. We testimony from former TMZ employee Morgan Tremaine yesterday, correct? Did I hear his testimony? Yes. Yes, I was he here. Yes. And you heard Mr. Tremaine's testimony that he knew to dispatch the paparazzi to the courthouse on May 27th, right? I heard him say that he knew that, yes. Yeah, and that he dispatched paparazzi to the courthouse to capture a picture of an alleged bruise on the right side of your face. Do you remember him saying that? I remember him saying that. That information must have come from your team, right, Ms. Heard? Absolutely not. Why would I want that? What actual survivor of domestic violence wants that? Now the